Okay, so in this comprehension series, let's look at the first question. It says that the HE plus ion is given to you and uh, you need to figure out the incorrect options amongst A, B, C and D. So we're going to analyze them one by one. So option A says that uh, one from the first column matches with one from the second column matches with S from the third column. And that's what this says. So let's analyze this. Uh, this is basically saying that one S would match with this uh, with this equation, right? This psi dependent on some some uh, things like they, they have some e part something and you have a z and an a naught and an r. Uh, seems a little confusing, but the important thing notice is what is not here. What is not here is theta and phi are not here, which means that this function is going to be symmetrical about theta and phi. That's a hint right there, right? Now, the functions that have that would basically mean that this orbital is spherical. So it looks like one s could match with this. It could, yeah. The next one is S. Now, this is a very interesting one because I have like, I, this is a numerical on its own, right? Because you need to figure out the ratio of E4 to 2 to E6 to 2, basically. Yeah, the electrons jumping from 4th to 2nd and the other ones electron from six, uh, jumping from 6th to 2nd. You need to find out the ratio of energies between them. It's uh, straightforward. Let's, let's do this step by step. Yeah, stay with me. So I have E4 to 2 would simply be proportional to this number here, yeah, 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 4 square. This is a simple extrapolation of Rydberg's work, yeah. I can do the same thing with E6 to 2. I will get 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 6 square. Be careful of the substitution of N1 and N2 values. This is extremely important here. Now, once you've done this, the rest of the stuff is straightforward. You just divide these both, yeah, E4 to 2 divided by E6 to 2. And you get this number here, which is happens to be 27 by 32. So this matches. So it looks like option A is correct, which means not the answer, right? We'll analyze the next options also right away. So here in this option B, I have two from the second column matching with two from the first column, which matches with Q from the third column, right? Uh, which is basically, let's do step by step. So this is 2S has one radial node. Is this correct? I think so, right? Because the formula for radial node is simply N minus L minus one n is 2, well, you know, is 0 because it's a s orbital and 1. So the number of radial nodes is simply 1. Now, once you have that, that's sorted. You need to figure out if Q also matches with these. Now, Q says that the probability density is proportional to 1 by a naught Q. What you need to keep in mind is that uh, this whole thing of the 1s orbital, the equation for psi that we saw, is going to be pretty similar to the 2s orbital. The only thing that would change is the E parameter, E part something, that would change. But what was before that, Z by A naught, power three by two, that remains the same. Now, why am I talking about psi? Because probability density is simply psi square. And if I square that, I also get that the Z by A naught thing gets cubed. Yeah, because it's three by two, right? Three by two into two, that's cubed. So Z, so, so psi square is proportional to one by A naught cube, which means that Q works out with the 2s orbital that has one radial node. So option B is also correct, which means it's not the answer. Let's look at option C. I have one matching with three matching with R according to this option. Now one is a 1s orbital. Now this looks fishy right away because one cannot match with three, can it? Because three has some complicated uh, you know, equation, but it has a cos theta at the end of it. You know that if it's a s orbital, the psi function cannot be dependent on theta or phi. Now, this option is hence done. This is incorrect and hence the answer. We are sorted, right? Because we need to figure out what the incorrect option was. But hey, uh, just to convince you guys, I'm also going to go over option D and prove to you that that's correct and hence not an answer. So I have one matching with one matching with R. That's what option D is. You know, one and one sort of match. We figured that out uh, in the previous question, uh, the, in, in the previous option itself, one of the previous op options. Now, R is an interesting thing. It says that probability density is going to be the maximum near the nucleus. Is this correct? Um, probability density, psi square, right? So if psi is maximum, psi square will be maximum. Makes sense. So near the nucleus, R tends to zero, which means that this, this part, yeah, E power minus thing, this whole thing will become e power zero, which is one. And that is the maximum value of the function psi. 
any other value of r, the value of psi falls. And if psi falls, psi square will fall. So if psi is the maximum value, psi square is the maximum value, psi square is probability density. And hence, this is correct. This option is correct as well. So your answer was option C, which was incorrect. Thank you.